Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook Pixel to ClickFunnels in 2023. Facebook Pixels is a powerful tool that allows you to track and optimize your Facebook ad campaign. By integrating a Facebook Pixel with your ClickFunnels pages, you can gain valuable insights into your customer behavior and improve your advertising effectively or your advertising effectiveness. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have on your PC or your preferred if you have many browsers. Once you do so, make sure to go and the first step is going to be is to create a Facebook pixel. Uh, yeah, so log in into your Facebook Ad Manager account and navigate into the Events Manager. Of course, you'll be able to do that if you go to Facebook Pixel and hit the Enter button. Go to the first link, and of course, if you have a Facebook account uh, or a Facebook Ads Manager account, you'll have to simply go and click on Start now, and you'll be able to log in into your account. If you don't, you'll have to go and click on Get Started to create an account from the beginning for your own. Of course, having a Facebook account will help you create your accounts very easily. It should not take a lot of time if you have already a Facebook account. So make sure to have that before. So click on get started here or even here at the top right left corner and you'll be able to have it. So for you, if you have an account, go to uh, events manager, click on connect to data source and select web and choose the Facebook pixel. Then follow the prompt to create your pixel. Make sure to copy the pixel ID provided. Then make sure to even go and access your click funnels account settings. So go and open a new tab, go to click funnels, uh, go to click funnels.com and hit the enter button. And here again, if you have an account, make sure to go and log in into it. As you can see, we have the click funnels is two zero or the click funnels classic, depending on whatever you have, you'll simply have to go and log in into it. But if you don't click on try for free, and as you can see, you'll be able to start for a free trial, no contract, you can cancel at any time, zero computer skills needed, works for every type of business and market sales and deliver like a pro. So if you don't know much about this, you can scroll down, read more information about this. And of course, you will have after your free trial ends, you'll have to go and pay one of their plans. As you can see, you will find this right here with all the features and for the monthly and for the annual so for me as an example let me just show you i'm just going to uh, like create my account here and simply you'll have to enter your full name email address and click on continue as you can see so it's two steps to create your account then to start your 14 day free trial you'll have to simply fill those informations first name last name phone email address and address apartment city postal code and simply your credit card number here once you're done you'll be able to start your free trial with no problems so let's just fill those manually here it's going to put like uh, some random things here and it's going to put theater test and of course the card so they i guess they have a problem at the moment so i cannot create my account what's not going to be a big deal so for you you'll have to simply go and log in into your account once you access your click funnels account settings make sure to go to the account settings and this is where you can access the settings and add the necessary code to connect your facebook pixels so of course you'll have to as i said log in into your account as an example so once you can exit your Facebook Pixel, of course, in the ClickFunnels account settings, you will have to go and find tracking codes section. Click on manage your tracking codes and then select add a new tracking code. Choose Facebook Pixels from the list of options and then paste the Facebook Pixel code that you copied earlier into the des uh, designed into the designated uh, area or field. Then save the changes. Make sure to save the changes. Then of course it's essential to verify that your Facebook Pixel is correctly installed on your click funnels pages. To do this, you'll have to go and open one of your funnels or landing pages in a new browser uh, tab and navigate through the funnels to trigger uh, different events such as page uh, views or purchases. Then go back to your uh, Facebook Ads Manager and of course make sure to navigate into the Events Manager and click on test events and follow the prompt to simulate different events then make sure to verify that the events are detected by your facebook pixel 
So then you will have to go, of course, and create customer conversations and audiences. When Facebook Pixel connects it to your ClickFunnels account, you can now leverage its powerful feature. You can use, uh, of course, not just one feature, it's a lot of features. So you can use, as an example, the Facebook Ads Manager to create some custom conversations based on specific events, such as add uh, to cart or purchase. And this will allow you to track and optimize your advertising campaign more effectively. You can also create custom audience based on pixel events to target your ads to specific segments of your audience. You can even, of course, uh, track as an example and optimize your ad campaign. So as you start running Facebook ad campaign, regularly make sure to monitor the performance of your campaigns using the data from your Facebook pixel. Use the insights to optimize your ad targeting, creative, and budget to improve your return on ad spend and experiment with different strategies and continuously analyze the data and the results to refine your Facebook advertising efforts. Of course, if you don't know much about Facebook Ads Manager because a lot of people find it difficult to deal with, you can always go to YouTube and you'll find a lot of free courses that will help you a lot understanding this Facebook pixel. And I can even give you like a quick tour here. So let's start by as example, the account overview. Here you'll be able to add your payment method, create your Facebook page. And as you can see, get a setup and run ads simply from here. So here you'll find amount spent and percentage spent and learning phases. You'll find here it says completed. And, and the campaigns here, you'll be able to create your campaigns and ads as I told you before here. So here it's more normally you're gonna do everything. Here, you'll find the ads reporting. So you'll find all the reporting on the ads. So I'm just click on show later. You'll find everything, every details you want. Any analytics you will find here. Of course, here you'll find just the audiences. It's not going to be a big deal. And here, as you can see, you can create some custom DOM uh, audience. As, as I said before, you can create a, a look alike audience or create save audience. Here you'll find billing if you click in here. Then here you'll find the account settings and here you'll find all tools. So it's not going to be a big deal. And of course, if you reached this point of this video, congratulations. You've successfully connected Facebook pixels to ClickFunnels in 2023. By integrating these two powerful platforms, you can gain valuable insights into your customer behavior and improve the effectiveness of your Facebook ad campaign. Remember to regularly monitor and optimize your campaign is using the data from your Facebook pixel to achieve better results. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your ClickFunnels account and Facebook advertising. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching again and goodbye.